Solo is not really my forte. I don't hate it or anything. I just prefer to have someone by my side watching my back. Well, that, <laughs> and it's a little scary. Anyways, it's been a long time since I've released a solo video. February 20th of 2020, to be exact. Now, I can't promise this will live up to the standards of that one, but I will try my best. Oh boy. Solo, what? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? How's, how's everyone doing? Long time to see. Yeah, I, I usually don't stream like at all. Honest. I know a lot of people want. Oh, fuck. What's the script today? Uh, AK in like 20 minutes, and then we go full deep on a full big ass clan. I like this idea. Yes? Yes. This is my battle. Oh, there's a flute thing. thing. Keep in mind that this is a fresh wipe, a completely new start. So everyone including me has absolutely nothing, both loot wise nor blueprint wise. So it's gonna be awesome. I don't play solo too often. I usually prefer playing with friends, but gotta give the people what they want, you know? Yo. Yo, what the fuck? I'm Get cool. Here. Bro, come on. You know what that Ioka reminds me of? NordVPN. Now, I bet you're wondering, how does that Ioka remind Bernie of NordVPN? Well, allow me to explain. No one cares! There's a lot of ratty little hackers throughout the web. Some sitting behind their computer screen at home, or even some at common places that you may go to daily, like the coffee shop. Each with the ill intention of stealing your information, or in my case, my loot. But with an Ioka, aka NordVPN, you can scare them off and avoid their little rat paws from taking all of your stuff. It's super effective and 100% safe, especially with the fact of knowing that there are over 5,200 servers in 60 different countries. And besides from stopping all those pesky little rats, Nord also gives you the ability to do things like unblock geo-restricted games and shows or even find discounts only available in other regions. It's a great and simple way to make your life so much easier, and all it takes is a simple click. As someone that uses the internet daily, I feel so much safer knowing that Nord is protecting all of my information. And you can feel as safe as me by going to nordvpn.com slash ombernie, or by clicking the first link in the description box down below. Now, back to the video. I think he has a spear. There's something on his back. Um, I should probably chop some trees, get a door real quick. I can just smack down a base somewhere. Now, how the f*** did they expect me to get up this thing? What the fuck? Oh, maybe, maybe I can't get up it, actually. What? <sighs> Come on. What the f***? Come on! <sighs> Look at that. Just spam spacebar enough, you can get up. Bro, why can't I find any freaking cloth? I just want to see one hemp bush. Please. Uh-oh. Do I kill this man? I think I kill him. Either I kill him or I die, either or. Let's see what happens. Surprise, butt sex! Okay, I got a spear. I can I can catch him. I'm gonna chase you to the ends of the earth, man. I need your loot! I am so low. Give me your fucking loot! I deserve it! I think he's just gonna keep running. Alright. Screw this guy. He's lame. After some mindless running around in the dark, I finally found a nice build location for my first solo base in a very long time. It was a cozy little spot between some rocks. The idea was that would be hidden enough to where people wouldn't bother me too much. And, you know, without spoiling too much, I, I was wrong. Very wrong. Okay, I can't see. I don't necessarily need to upgrade these side walls because of the rock, but... I'm gonna play it safe. Hey, thanks for the sound. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Make that wood so I can go up later on. I don't think anybody can get to these parts, so I'm just gonna leave them as is because I don't have that many resources. Um, I am, however, gonna make a box so I can put some of this stuff away. I can take it off. I'm like an old man on his front porch right now protecting his property. All right. 
get the show on the road. Hey, thanks for, Let's thanks go. So There's a scientist. Do I kill him? He's going to hurt me a lot. But he might have a med on him. I'm going to kill him. Don't kill me. Oh my god, I have seven health. Get a med. Oh my god, let's take it home. Fastest snowball to med ever. There we go. Suck. I'm gonna sit in this chair and die in my chair like a man. Oh. Okay, let's uh let's head out. We need to go get some cloth. Um let's uh let's take this route. There's an airdrop. Do I go for it? I'm going for it. I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Seeing this airdrop in the distance, I had to give it a shot. But it being so early into the wipe, this is bound to be packed with other players trying to get it. So for a solo, this was a very dangerous task. Yeah, it's going to hit the ground before I get there. I think someone's already going to be there. There's no way there's not anyone there. I'm probably going to die to someone that picked up a gun out of it or something. Run! I didn't get the bulb. I don't care. I'm running. I see my base right over there. It's just in those rocks. I just gotta make it across the field. The custom. Fuck, you're right. No, I can go back. It's okay. It's okay. I can go back. I don't want to get greedy because I saw two guys running over there. So I can go back. I got a pump. I got satchels. I got some tech trash. I'll go back. Don't worry. One thing at a time. That, I'm not gonna lie. My body just scared me. I thought that was a guy sitting in my chair. Let's go back. Dub. Look at that. This guy's bow somewhere. I need a I want a bow. Dub. Look at that. And now we go home. We take this home right now. We out here making stonks, baby. I paid outpost scientists to uh, do that for me. This we we were aware. I paid them to script the video. For anyone confused to what just happened, let me give a quick rundown. As I was running up to the airdrop, we heard those shots going off. Well, it just so happened that those shots were too close to this outpost, which is a safe zone. And if you shoot too close to a safe zone, the safe zone shoots back. This is a huge win for me, and very lucky. Look at that, boys. We already got a custom, we got a pump, we got a med. You know what? I think... I think we should go go to, go to rig. What do you guys think? Should I get some stuff real quick, like get some clothing and then go run rig? Oh, excuse me. Let's head back out. Running rig was very ambitious as of right now, but I was determined. Immediately, I set out to gather the necessary items. Ah, oh, imagine I hit the headshot. God damn it, man. There we go. Uh, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Warm up, okay? We're taking it easy on him. Don't even worry about it. You guys gonna see me depoting quite a bit because I need to play the safe as a solo. Anything I get, I got a depot. Ooh, there's a crate here? What the hell? I thought this was gonna be fully looted. God damn it, man. Lame. Just gonna run away. Someone took my fucking shit. Someone else is here now. Toe. Kill them. Is 
in that bathroom back there. back ah oh, lives over there this fucking tree dude no way Suck my balls. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. You suck. Fuck, dude. I had that. It was clear and obvious that I was the one that sucked, but that wasn't the point. Obviously, here numbers were on their side, and of course, they had the response. This was the first introduction of our beloved neighbors. We'll call them the Russians. We'll be seeing a lot of them. Okay, looks like we're just rocking spears for now, I suppose. All right, let's go see what we can do with some spears, I guess. We need to collect some resources. More so, some furnaces. Stuff for furnaces. I didn't really read it fully, but... Oh, fuck me. Stupid. <laughs> That's the guy from Recycle, yeah. <laughs> That was a nice little win and a huge boost to my motivation, but it also means I got to play it a little bit more safe. My name has been seen by these guys quite a few times now. Surely they'll be on the lookout for me, which is why I thought now was the best time to finally go do that oil rig run I was talking about earlier on. Or at the very least head out into the waters. It's usually the prime area for a solo to farm. But I'm gonna do this just to be safe. So, Revolver. Beautiful. Look at that. Good enough. Okay. It's a decent chance for being camped right now because I'm fucking lit up like a damn Christmas tree over here. Um, I think we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to risk it, you know. Oh, someone inside here. I think he has a gun. He does. He has a fucking Revy or something. Oh, I fucking nailed him, dude. Holy shit. What did he have in his hands? He has a sash on, so he had some kind of weapon. Oh, it was a Revy, dude. Let's go. I'm taking that with me. And what's who? Thank you. You wanna come with me? Okay, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. This is kind of a run, kind of a journey. <laughs> I mean, it's not like terribly far, I guess, but it's over there. I don't know, horses still spawned. I thought they were just something you can get the ra at the ranch. Thank you. Another piggy. It's a carrot. Could you imagine just dying to a carrot? Like I just roll up on you with this thing and fucking beat your ass. Do farming. Another guy. Hey, are you friendly, man? No. Unfortunately, my recording cuts out for a bit after this point, but nothing really happens. I just find a boat on the coast and make my way out into the waters. No, it's sinking. Oh, it just came back. 
I kind of want to run small rig as well, but I don't have the proper cards for it, like to fully do it. Um, I need a blue and a red card for that. Oh, someone might be here actually. I was about to head into the depths towards this underwater lapse, but there was another boat here. Gotta be on the lookout for other people. see where they are first if they are down here I feel like I don't have a melee I hear him I heard someone yeah I hear him right over here one of them has a Tommy there's fucking three of them dog One has a Tommy, so this is going to be a risky thing to do if I do it. That one's out here. Where's the boat? I need to get up there. I think I can kill this third guy, but I uh, I need to be safe about it. I could always just go wait up in the boat for him to come up. He's going to have to come up eventually, right? Once I got to the surface, I decided it was just best to leave with what I got. There was no point in risking all of this loot. I need just about everything I could get. And the run home was a true show of how much I truly earned it. I don't have any heals either, which is going to be rough. I need to be very careful about this run back. Okay. See that gas station? We gotta run past that gas station into the trees, which is just uh, near where I'm fighting a bunch of dudes. It's gonna be a little, a little scary. Fuck me, dude. There's three guys right there. Four guys. Shit. Five. Oh, they're fighting each other. Okay, so. Oh my god, look at all those guys up there, dude. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them up there. Look at that. Oh, shit. I gotta get out of here. There's a guy right there, dude. This is not good at all. I'm in a tough, tough spot. Okay, he's not coming after me. There's a guy on his roof right there, though. What the fuck is going on over here, dog? Oh, he sees me. Oh, no. Okay, let's try to make this run. Fuck it. I made this run home without any interruptions, but that was for one reason and one reason only. Remember that group I saw on the hill a little bit ago? Well, they followed me home. Why they didn't shoot me, I had no idea at the time, but I would soon find out. Okay. Interesting.
Well, boys, there goes, uh, here comes door campers now, huh? Should be fun. They didn't take any of the stuff home. <laughs> All right. Um, I didn't know door dashers on rust boys. What the fuck? Although I was happy with that win. I knew damn well wasn't the end of it. They camp once they'll do it again. Let's make another box. Take all the clothes and put them in there. So we're gonna leave the scuba set over here just so we know where it's at. There we go. Let's put my stuff away because I'm gonna go out there just to yoke. See if I can kill them. Okay, shall we see how many of them there are camping us? <laughs> go take a look. <laughs> I think he's trying to be quiet, but he's not doing a very good job at doing it. I know you're out there, buddy. No point in trying to hide it. <laughs> what the fuck was that? There's a fucking DB. Why'd my guy throw it? I wasn't even holding left click. He did us. Yeah. The fuck did he say? I hit him. Did he die? He's still there. <laughs> I hit him in the forehead with a rock. Go over there, bear. He's on the roof. There's two of them. There's three of them up there, dude. I knew this was gonna happen, man. They're, are you okay raiding me? They're not, are they going to the roof? I think they're going to the roof. I think he just killed his friend. That's tough, man. That's so tough. <laughs> Shortly after I made those upgrades, they left me alone, at least for the time being. I did have some time to gather some wood and make a few small upgrades on the base to make it less raidable to them and more accessible to me. I then learned a revolver from my soon-to-be trip to the outpost for a Risaka run. I was trying to get as much done in the little time I had. After some time of playing this game, you learn the routine of groups like this. If they try to raid you and fail, they will come back over and over again. The hell? What is this guy doing? Okay. Dude. Why do I feel like everyone's tanking? I hit that fucking hazmat guy twice with a bow and then two times with a revolver. Why does everyone seem so tanky, dude? Like, what is happening? Gear fear? I'm gonna hear this fucking custom. Hey, stupid, look behind you.
It's the Russian guy. I think there's someone in there. It doesn't feel good to be rolled, does it, you heads? How'd that work out for you, buddy? That's the uh, that's the group that was camping me and tried to raid me earlier, just so you guys, for those that have missed it. If you couldn't tell, I was tired of being the one that was hunted. I wanted to take the fight to them, and I decided to do that by giving them a taste of their own medicine. But this is where things start to get a little weird. guy behind me. He's a bow, I think. Yeah, he's a bow. Mm, I'm gonna make some noise. I wanna jump up in here, but I'm gonna make some noise. Wasn't too bad. Alright, let's give him a taste of the medicine, shall we? I sat here and waited for quite some time. It was obvious that they were out and about somewhere. I almost just want to start raiding these guys. I have satchels back at home, but I don't know if they have any sheet metal doors. I'm assuming they do, considering they have sheet metal walls here. Oh, someone's coming. Excuse me? What? 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 Th th that's the same guy that keeps tanking shit, bro. How they know I was there, by the way? Did you notice that? They knew I was there. It was a little weird, but we'll talk about it more after I go back one more time. Just gonna run back into his base. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. Can you get away from his roof? Can you go up to his roof? I don't know where this guy's body is. I can't see. The shit. Oh, it. What is going on? Oh, he's a cheater. He's a cheater, boys. It's a cheater. It's a cheater. I can't. Oh, he's over there. Yeah. Look at him. Go ahead, kill me. Go ahead. Yep. Look at him. He's right there. I, I guarantee you it's one of them. Nice cheats, bro. He picked me up. Does he live here? I don't think he lives here. I think that's a different guy. You know why he, he picked me up, by the way? It's because if he downs me or if he finishes me, he or if he doesn't finish me, his name won't pop up in the F7 list as the most recent person that killed me. He was an obvious cheater, but was he part of the Russians? I don't believe so. I think it was just unfortunate timing. That and he came from a completely random direction. Although, in terms of the Russians, I did have my doubts. For one, this guy was an absolute tank. He never died, no matter how hard I hit him. But I won't call it cheats. It could just be lag issues. This was a US server, and he obviously was not from the US. So his ping could be much higher. There was also this occasion when I was at their base, and they somehow knew I was under their floor. But after watching it back, it could have possibly been that they saw my gun or head when I peeked over a little bit. 
Again, I was doubtful about them being legit, but wasn't 100% sure. What I was sure about was wanting to get rid of them. As it was being heard, they obviously don't like neighbors. There has been multiple shotgun raids being done around the area on smaller bases. And if you remember correctly, they also tried to shotgun raid me. I knew this was gonna happen, man. They're the Yoka raiding me? They were greedy. They wanted to be the kings of this area. And I wasn't gonna let that happen, solo or not. I see a pumpkin. Papa Wellen has blessed me with food. It was the last pumpkin, sacred pumpkin. What the fuck? Well, the cheater's here. Nice, man. Yes, yeah, fucking cheater. Look, it's a cheater. What the fuck is this? Yeah, why you cheat, bro? Why? What do you mean? Those cheat men? They're both cheating! What the f is this sh dude? They're fing running on water and Come on, man! Aw, oh, dude. <sighs> yeah. Uh, literally the worst way to lose my best gun. Thing was, even if I wanted to target these guys, I couldn't. Not only was there one of them, nor two of them, there was three. Three fucking cheaters in a group. That would even be a struggle with a larger group. The best I could do at this point was an F7 report and move on. Let's go up there and get a blue card. Get, get the fuck out of my way, man! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Oh, he had the blue card. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go to the slide house over here. It'll be safer. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's a good idea. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Where are you guys getting all this shit from, bro? How's everybody running around with the pump shotgun? They're pretty easy to find. Seriously? Yeah. Here, take this. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. No problem. Even though you just fucking shot yeah, me. Yeah, I, I nice didn't guy. know you weren't going to have gear. <laughs> I'd be careful, by the way, if you're going, like, uh, towards satellites, there's two cheaters running around over there. They're like running across water and shit, killing everyone. That's unfortunate because my friend and I wanted to build the. Yeah. Well, if you do, be careful because, you know, cheaters and all. So. There's some metal frags in there you can have. Oh, we need to get this home because that would have been. That would have hurt. <laughs> Fuck, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. They're like... So they are still active. Can you get out of here before they come over? So the plan is to raid them. There we go. With my initial goal in mind, I made a handful of handmade shells to go with the pump action shotgun. The idea was to raid some lower tier bases nearby for loot. Um, I think we're gonna go do some pump raids, guys. I think that's the plan here. You think they're around? With all the excitement going on, I nearly forgot about the Russians. Let's see what they're up to real quick. Dude. Um... Without a flashlight, I couldn't see anything, so I waited until sunrise. 
There's two guys right there. Those furnaces. Or is that a door? No, that's a door. I think this door dro goes past the, the sheet metal door. Hey, okay, what's going on right here? Oh, do we do it? I think we do it. Do we do it? I think we do it. This just goes up to the roof. The wood door's there. Sheet metal. This goes further in here. So I think I'm going to break through this next. Right? Yeah, it looks open in there. <gasps> oh, they have a bunker. Are they... Wait, what? Wait. Huh? This is the Russian dude. I was able to get a lot further in than I thought, but this was the hard part, a full on bunker. It'd be a hefty cost to get through this, but I was determined. Immediately, I made my way back to base to gather everything I had this far. But along the way, I met an interesting character. Hey, what's up, man? Are you home? Hey, what's up, bro? Are you home? Hey, bro, if there's any chance I can get my spear or my Hatch it back. He lives there. Holy shit, bro. I see a pee pee. Hey, man, do you know who owns this house? Well, I think this guy was the one who killed me at Oxum's, had all my stuff, had my damn my spear and my hatchet had some scrap some lunable fat some charcoal yeah, two uh metal blades anti-radiations and some a single chicken breast what and the he ran all the way back here man i watched him from my wounded body staring up at the sky crawling begging for my life and he treats me like some damn dog but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stay here till he comes home, man. Like, I'm gonna find out if this is actually a, oh shit, hold on. I can see through here. He's got some sort of a table set up in there. Little boxes, or maybe a sleeping bag. I'm gonna find him though, man. Hey, I like your beard. Yeah, man, I, how do you do those hand signs? Old B. Oh shit, I like this man. I like this. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna go back to Oxum see if that guy left anything. Alright man, good luck. It's nice to meet you, man. I'm sure I'll see you around. After that odd encounter, I continued my way back to base, but kept him in mind. If I come across that hazmat thief, I'll be sure to get his revenge. Might be out here. First try. What the fuck? Oh, it's a 1v1. Oh, we missed a shot. You're playing around the fucking car. Has is gonna win it. Oh, Has is running. Oh, Has is dead. That guy's a bad man. He came in here and killed us when we were trying to talk to him. Hey, man. Hey, Bobby. what's up, Byron? Hey, what's going on, man? I think yeah, I, I was just Hazard trying guy. to work the store in there with Jason. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's Jason's crossbow. There I'm going to run and give it to him on the roof there. Thank you, man. No problem. Now that that side quest is done, let's continue our main goal. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, Poppy! Oh, Lord! God, that was sexy.
After some time of farming and cooking some sulfur, I was finally able to craft a good chunk of satchels. And none of it would be possible if I didn't get it from the airdrop earlier on. Now, I know this isn't going to be some big rocket raid like you would normally see, but it was my first time solo in a while, and I still gotta get used to the ropes. Either way, a raid is a raid, and revenge is revenge. If I didn't get rid of the Russians now, I would never be able to. You know, I didn't realize this until just now, but their bunker was opened. I don't know if it was just because I was 10 hours into the stream at the time or what, but I didn't notice it at the time. Oh no. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's cold, dude. Are you cheater? Are you cheater? Are you cheater? These dudes are low key broke, dog. I need to break that TC. Hey, that's not horrible. I still have one more loot room I gotta get into, though. We're gonna die opening this shit. Okay, I think we're clear besides if there's unless there's someone below me. Wonder how they're gonna feel now that they got raided by a solo. <laughs> that they fucking door camped. <laughs> Let's just move the important shit first. Okay, I feel like this is a good start. Alright. Cool. I'm pretty proud of myself, I gotta say. Raiding a Russian group's base on day one of a force wipe with BP wipes as well is pretty impressive as a solo. I'll take that. This might break DC actually. Ah. Man. They be broke as hell, bruh. A little bit of farm, I guess. It's not terrible, but could have definitely been worse. <laughs> Again, I know this wasn't some huge rocket raid, but it was still so satisfying getting rid of a group that held so much power in the area. Not only that, but I got my sweet retaliation from them trying to raid me earlier on. And also some sweet justice served to those fellow solo players that couldn't defend themselves. This was a big win for me, regardless of the drought and loot. You also can't really beat the memories and interactions along the way either. <laughs> either way, as my story on the server comes to a close, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my first solo adventure in a long time. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do some more in the near future. Who knows? Now we log off and leave the remains of the loot to decay in my little rock base. Hopefully some other solo comes across it and it helps them in their adventure.